In this video, I will be showing you how to create a trading journal using Notion. So as we all know, trading journal is indeed very important. An essential component of any trader's equipment is a trading toolbox. You may better examine your trading performance, status, and improve your trading skills by taking the time to keep a trading notebook in which you record all of your trades. So with the help of Notion and its features, I'm going to show you how to create a trading journal. So all you have to do is to log in to your Notion, go to your dashboard, and then look for add a page. And then here we can name this as my trading journal. So you can add icon, you can add cover, you can add a comment here. But first, let's just toggle on this full width by tapping this three dots above and toggle on this full width. Now it's time to add a cover so you can change this cover anytime. You can add from your gallery, you can upload, you can add a link, place it right here, or you can simply add an image from Ansplash. So I'm going to look for track here or let's just say trade. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I can tap this reposition if I want to change or adjust the position and then click save position. Okay. So as you can see here, I can also add emojis, icons, and custom. So everything is up to you. Now feel free to do anything here in your notion dashboard. So to start, I can now add something here by, for example, adding a comment, like a reminder or a motivation for you to go on with your life or with this trading journal. So for example, I'm going to add a comment here, like let's get it on or motivation. Okay. And then we can now start with our database here. So to start with a database or to add something here in your notion or in your dashboard, you just have to type slash and you are given different types of database or something that you can add. Okay, tap table view and then click this new database here. And this is what it looks like. Now feel free to edit and add something here, like a property, which I'm going to show you later. So for this one, we can name this as, let's just say trading journal or my trading status or it's a shade journey, but everything is up to you. Okay. So we have here the name. And then in order to delete a property, you just have to tap this delete. If you think that this one is not necessary for your template for your database. So to add, just tap this plus icon and then edit property. So I'm going to add something here like date. Okay. So the type of this is also date. Click this add or plus icon again to add a property. So this time what we're going to add is, let's just say we're going to add a select, this type of select, and then you can change this to the day of the week. Okay. Now you can add the days of the week, seven days of the week. Of course, you just have to click this options and then add Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. As you can see, uh, automatically it has its own color so that it would be easier for you to identify which one is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. Okay, so once done, then that's it. If you tap this uh, day of the week here, then the following option will also appear. Okay, that's it. Now to add again, another um, property, you just have to click the plus icon, but let me add numbers here first. So let's just say you are trading one, two, three, four, five. Okay, click this plus, new to add. Okay, so I have here trading one, two, three, four, five. So to add property again, tap this plus icon. And at this time, we're going to add another select type here. But this time, we're going to change the name um, into pair. Okay, and then below, you can add options such as um, GDP, USD, uh, Euro, USD, everything, or every pair here in currency, you can add here. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to add two. Okay, so select again so that you have your option. So date, day of the week, and then we have here pair. Okay, so you can simply tap from any of the given option here. 
Okay, so another property that we can use for our trading journal is this what we call direction. And for the type, it's still select. So you can add option here. Now, what is this trading direction and why is it needed here in journal? So to maintain an accurate record of your market holdings, specify the trading direction, buy and sell, and she price in order to assess how accurately you execute transactions keep track of the entry price levels of take profit and stop loss make sure you have the risk management strategy in place in record at this level so we can add options like short or long here. okay so we have your days day of the week pair and direction and we can move this because we're going to add more property here that we're going to use in our trading journal Okay, so click this add property again or click this plus icon to add property and then go to the search bar and this time we're going to look for checkbox and the type is still checkbox. Now you can rename this but for this time let's just leave it as checkbox here. So you can tap once it's okay, once it's successful or whatever it is and then you can also go to calculate to show a percentage of the status of this checkbox right here. So you can tick in this box if this one is successful or not or everything is up to you but this one is like a reminder that this one is, has been completed or this task is available or this, you know, um, trading is urgent or something. Everything is up to you. Okay, so to add a property again, so you just have to click this plus icon. And then this time we're going to add session. And this type is a multi-select. Okay, so go to type, search, and then click this multi-select. Now, what is this session for a trading journal? So this one is like um, an assets or allocations active trading hours and are referred to as a trading session. A market single trading day is a trading session that investors in that market refer to. Generally, different markets have distinct trading hours. So I have added here the following location, but everything is up to you. Okay, so again, if we're going to add a property just click this plus icon this time we're going to add this entry and for this type okay we're going to add number okay so entry and the type is number okay so here you can change uh, the number format by tapping this um hashtag or this number icon so we're going to enter here or type here 3.15 as our entry for our trading journal and then to add a property again, just click this plus icon. And this time we're going to add duration. So uh, for this, we're going to add the type is number. So it's number. Okay, so we have here duration. And then you can add a number of duration here. So by the way, uh, this duration means the average duration of a trade in a trading portfolio during a given time frame is called average trade duration. It is an important indicator used in trading and investment analysis to determine how long trades are typically held and to gauge how effective trading techniques are. Okay, so we have here duration. Okay, so let me move this one again because we're going to add more properties here. So yeah, just click this plus icon again. And then this time we're going to click or add this RR. So actually this one is or the meaning of this is that how many hours did you take or you know how many hours do you need to trade okay so a day trader's time table is contingent upon several aspects including the financial assets they engage in and their trading methodology for instance because the forex market is typically available for business around the clock day traders who concentrate on it have more hours to trade Okay, and then aside from that, you can also add this potential RR here. So add property and type potential RR. And this one is you just have to select number for this one. So after you have your RR, you can now track your potential RR. So you just have to add right here and then go to calculate tab sum. Then you will see the result. So you can differentiate. Okay, let me move this one again and then 
what we're going to do now is still we're going to add a property okay so tap this plus icon and this time what we're going to add or what property we're going to put here is this news okay so what is this news i'm talking about actually you can simply look for this multi select as a type for this property and add this options like FOMC and CPI. Or you can add more websites. Now, FOMC as example announcements, one of the most anticipated events on the economic calendar, tell the world about the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rate decision. The FOMC's decision to raise, lower, or maintain current interest rates might have a significant impact on currency value. So it's very important that you also know the updates and announcements in this website's or news. And then I'm going to add here a narrative. Okay, so one of the most well-liked strategies for generating income in the cryptocurrency market is narrative trading. It is a method of trading that makes use of an ongoing story. Without a doubt, stories have a big impact on how much cryptocurrency assets cost. In the world of cryptocurrencies, narratives are the popular theories, tales, or viewpoints that sway public opinion and determine how much value is placed on that. They can also affect market patterns, investor sentiment, and the uptake of new technology. So we have here emotions. Okay, you can add emotions and you can add options here. So although a person's emotional range might be wide and complex, traders usually identify 14 essential trading emotions. This typically occur in waves, started with elation, enthusiasm, excitement, ending with despair or sadness. So you can add emotions here to also trace or track the status of your mental well-being. Okay, and then let me address this one again. So here, what we're going to do is, again, we're going to add property by tapping this plus icon. Remember, these properties are essential for your trading journal. And then last, what I'm going to type here is, what did you learn? So this, what did you learn? is a text and this one refers to what did you learn from your previous trading and what are the things you need to improve so it's very important to take note whatever the circumstances or happenings while doing this trading journey okay always remember that trading teaches us that either when we're winning nor when we're losing we should be too hard or we shouldn't be too hard to ourselves. You can also add something here, like all traders eventually discover that the ideal mental state is one that is calm and collected. This also holds true in other spheres of life. So you can add something here that can motivate you, especially when it comes to losing or winning. It's somehow a, a good thing, or it can motivate you to go further or it can give you an enlightenment, especially whenever you're down or whenever you're losing, or if you lose a lot of, you know, things here in your trading journey. So you can add here with what to trigger. Okay, so if you tap this one right here, like if I'm going to change this name to trade one, if I tap this open page, I can see all of the properties that I have added here. Okay, so date, duration, a direction rather, duration, emotions, entry, and so on. I can even add an image here, like a screenshot of your trading or an image of your trading. You can even um, add a link here. Okay, so you just have to simply uh, tap in this open page right here. Then you will see all the properties that you have added. You can add image, you can add video, everything is up to you. Okay, so this is just a basic tutorial of how to create a trading journal, which of course is very necessary and important, especially if you are doing this a trading journey or if you are in a world of cryptocurrency. So I really hope that this somehow gives you a bit information on what properties you can use, especially if you want to open or create a trading journal here in your Notion. So this is just a basic tutorial and I know you can do better. Feel free to edit or add more properties once you create your own trading journal. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create a trading journal using Notion. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.